Hey guys, this is Alpha Person MC, and today I've got for you a way to generate completely randomized terrain, and it includes the cows. So everything you see here, the grass, the poppies, and the dandelions, and the cows, are randomly placed. And this uses the spread players command and a whole bunch of chickens. So um, a download link will be in the description below. Uh, you can test it out for yourself. So uh, basically, this is how it works. Um, you'll see a whole bunch of falling sand entities and they will fall down and generate terrain. So uh, right now it's just building the um, the grass which you can probably see that and um, it is very CPU intensive it's processor intensive and there are all the cows. So the terrain map is now ready and what that basically means is um, the clocks which are in here have been reset and they can be used again so yeah um, so basically the mechanism that um, powers the entire thing is uh, the execute commands being um, activated at chickens so uh, it begins by spawning in 10 chickens in the center of this platform then the spread players command teleports them up there in a random pattern and then this command block teleports them back down and then there is a uh, dispenser randomizer which randomizes an NBT command block and that one chooses one of these four plots and will activate all the commands in this plot relative to the um, the chicken actually every chicken I believe so um, then the chicken is killed after after the uh, the command is spawned or the um, the plot of land is spawned and it repeats the process over and over. So um, there is a timer here which activates twice um, and it will um, run this about nine times and then when it is finished running it will run through all these commands which spawn in 30 chickens, uh, a whole bunch of more chickens and they will spawn in the grass blocks and the poppies and the cows. So uh, the cows are actually optional, everything's optional um, I would actually prefer to not have cows in there, but the cows make it a little bit more realistic. Uh, it is a little bit um, rough terrain, so I guess it can be used for uh, rough terrain maps, I guess. Um, so it can be uh, customized. These plots can be a lot bigger than they are, so um, the bigger they are, the more flat this terrain will probably be. And plus, um, the height limit is up to here so if um, any sand entities fall at this height they will destroy blocks so hence the um, dirt there so yeah that's pretty much it uh, that's how it works and I'll guess I run it one more time uh, so there'll be a bit of lag all the cows will die and uh, the sand will start to spawn in and you'll notice that there are a lot of items being dropped by the sand Right now they're being dropped because of the half slabs, but when it gets to the point where the sand is falling at the same time um, as the um, sand is spawning, uh, then they will start to spew out blocks. And that isn't too good, so at the very end of this entire uh, thing it will kill all the items. So yeah, that's how that works. You can download the um, map for yourself and try it out. Uh, I believe this technology is very powerful and can be used for a lot of different things. So, yeah, um, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.